everybody. My name is Sherry. Welcome to my stamp studio. Before I get going with today's project, there are a couple of things I wanted to remind you of. One is celebration is ongoing. It goes to the end of September, but a lot of the items in here are while supplies last. So I highly recommend that you get the ones that you most want this month before waiting till next month to get the rest. And then on the um, back of this, I wanted to point out, oh, here's the set I'm using. I wanted to point out that there is a joining special right now, which means that you can purchase a starter kit and then buy all of your future stamping supplies at at least 20% discount, but then you have the opportunity to get a much higher discount than that. Um, and if, when you purchase a kit, it's $99, but you get to pick $125 of whatever you want to go in it, and it's free um, shipping. There's just tax on the $99, so it's just $99 plus tax for wherever you live, and then during celebration as well, if you look at this tiny little thing that kind of gets lost over here, you can pick a free bundle that goes in, doesn't count towards your $125, but any of the bundles from this catalog and the ones that you can pick from are right here. And Peaceful Cabin is one. That's what I'm going to be using today. So I wanted to remind you of that. As a member of my team, you get all of my online classes at no cost. Um, the actual Try It class, you get the supplies to, to do it as well. And we do it together via Zoom because I have people on my team from all over the country. So whether or not you just want to purchase things at a discount and be part of a fun stamping community, or if you want to try to earn some um, part-time income, everybody joins for a myriad of reasons. We have all of the reasons on my team. We have a whole bunch of ages and like I said, we're all over the United States. So I just wanted to make sure that you knew that because you can get today's bundle completely free. I also do have a online class that is, um, by the time this post, the actual kit may not be available anymore, but you could get the card kit and for sure the videos because I'll leave that up until the class post, which is, it's going to post out the end of the week of the 15th. So sometimes sometime towards the end of this week. So it's coming up. So I am using Peaceful Cabin. I have used it a couple of times already. I love this suite. That's one of the reasons I picked it for my first card. So I will have the little um, links pop up at the top of this video so you can go back and watch the other two that I've already done with this because they're super different. But then for today's card, this is a celebration set and this video just posted so you can go watch this on um, my channel. But this was laying on my desk as were some of the bits and bobs that I had just created the card with. So as I was looking at it, I thought this would be really pretty in the cabin because even though this is the Dahlia and you can choose it for your free item um, and it could be a great anniversary card or a wedding card or even just a birthday card, it's really pretty. It's kind of hard, I think, probably to see how pretty it is on camera. But I liked the elements of it. And then the paper that's part of the Peaceful Cabin Suite is it all has specialty on one side so it's got silver foil and on the other side it's really 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 pretty pack of paper but it's all shades of gray and black so it worked really well to kind of do this card and then here again is the foil that I have on this but we just needed a tiny little piece and this is the new silver um, foil pack and you get all three colors in it so I wanted you to see the big pieces because we're gonna um, make some use out of kind of scraps of it for this so the first thing we're going to do is you see I have a four by five and a quarter piece of the designer series paper and then um, a black card base. So that's really the big amount of card stuff that we need. So I'm going to go ahead and in a switch from what I normally do, we're going to do all the die cutting first. So let's take this piece of paper and then I have the stitched rectangles and I'm going to line this up on the buffalo check side, um, but you don't want... You don't ever want your things to go through what we call speed bump, and this is an obvious speed bump. It's not good for your dies, not good for your machine, and if you hear that kerplunk that happens, that means you're doing a speed bump. So I know it's just hard for people, optical illusion, to put things on crooked, so I often put it on here, and the nice thing about this buffalo check is it makes it really easy to center this and to make sure it's straight. So it, you don't want this to go straight, so done all this, and now I'm okay. And now I just turn it. Now a point of it will go through before the straight line and we won't get that horrible kerplunk sound. So let's spin this through. See, there should be no, you should have no noise at the beginning of that, how that makes that awful noise. So this is the stitch rectangle and I'm just gonna use this piece of paper. This is gonna be, it's a pretty simple card. So 
So pop this out of here and we have that lovely stitching around the outside and then again on the inside. And I'm gonna flip this over. So now I love when we have our double-sided paper and we can use both sides of it. Now I'm gonna take the silver foils and I am going to take the tree outline and then I've cut them to kind of go under the different pieces because I want all these different trees and I wanted them to all be in different silver foils. So leave this one here. You can use a bit of washi tape or something if you want to. Um, if you have the magnetic plate, you can use that. We don't sell it any longer because it had some quality issues with it. Or you can just be careful like this. Because the nice thing is, is our dies are super, super sharp, I guess. Um, so they will go through more than one piece of cardstock. Now I'm going to lay these in here. And this will not only cut out our trees, but it'll give them some texture. And put this one over here. So you can see this is just, this is literal scraps of your silver foil. So when you get down to not having a whole lot, don't feel like you need to throw it away because... We're gonna create a beautiful silver metallic forest, which is those, mine weren't scraps because I cut them to fit, but you can see how you could have a tiny piece and get that to work. So now we have our trees and there are some tree dies as well. So you could go with, use the other shapes. I just wanted, I liked the way these had the holes in it. And I wanted you to see how to be able to do this if that's what you wanted to do because those kind of fit inside of each other. Let's move this out of the way. So now I'm going to take this piece here, and this is where we're gonna put our cabin. So put this here, I have Versamark, which is, I also used Versamark on the Dahlia card. I'm just gonna ink up my cabin. put it on here. It's a little bit tricky. I could use my stamparatus so y'all don't need to tell me because I know um, if you want to make sure it's super straight, but I found it didn't really matter if it was super straight. So put, we have that on there. Nice, some nice invisible ink. And then I have the black embossing powder. In the cabin class, we're gonna be using the clear, and it's the black, the clear, and the white that come in a packet together. So included in the class, if you do the full kit, you can get some of the clear embossing powder. And we're gonna be using blending brushes. So I've been working on the class at the same time I've been doing this. It's, it's a great set. So get this on here. I think the white would show up. I would really like the silver too, but I'm afraid it would mix all into the, the snowflakes, but you could pick a different one, a different pattern of the paper. Like if you wanted to do white or silver, then just have the snowflakes be this piece and then stamp on the buffalo check. And we just need to heat this. So it's a little bit small, so make sure that you're not gonna burn yourself. I'm gonna try to get it where you can see it. You can see it's dusty right now, and we want it to go shiny. So don't wave your gun, don't point it at your fingers. Point it down towards your thing, and then once you see that area start to melt, then you'll move your gun. Now you can see how it's going shiny. If you wave your gun around, then you chance missing an area because you need to get all that heat in every every part. And then once you think you've got it, I can see right there it's still dusty and right over there it's dusty. So just quickly hit those spots. I always turn my gun off when I do that because otherwise you have a, a chance to overheat and you want it to be nice and shiny and raised up like that. And if you go too long, then it goes dull and kind of burns it and it kind of sags back down and it's not lifted up anymore. So let's, I'm gonna let that cool just a second because I'm gonna color on the inside of it. So fold your black cardstock in half. You can always um, take another piece of buffalo check if you want and put it in here so you could write on it or I'm gonna show you another way that you can sign your black cards if you don't. 
if you don't want to put an additional piece in there. So you can see these because this is designed to kind of trim out the stamps as well. Um, I'm just going to cut off any of the parts where my papers overlapped or down at the bottom. But the really nice thing about the bottom is to know where to trim it, like right here, because it's foil. I don't know if you can see it. It gives a definite outline. So you just follow along that. And then you have your trees. And right here where they were kind of overlapped, I just need to poke those out. Because sometimes when you have two pieces of paper, this was the one that was overlapping the other one. Then they just don't fall out. They're poked, they just need to be pushed. So we got that. Now, um, I liked this, but the whole, the, like I wanted to see the snow. So I took our um, Stampin' Chalk marker, and these are in the catalog. They're super inexpensive. Um, I tend to get one every few months or so. They don't last forever, it's a chalk marker. Um, I also keep them in my kitchen. And I'm just going to add my snow then back over the top with this. But I keep them in the kitchen because I have some black stickers. And when I um, get new things I put in jars, like quinoa, which then I always ask my husband to say it because just like the commercial that's on TV, he does not have, know how to say it no matter how many times. But it's a great little marker. And you can see it's just helping add that snow back into onto our paper. It kind of hi helps highlight the, the cabin as well. And you can see it's a, it's a nice, great white. That's why I wanted this to cool off. I didn't want to put any black, black embossing powder onto my chalk marker. I just kind of put it all on there over this part now where I'm kind of going over the embossing. It will dry. I'm just kind of dotting it on to let it add. But then you can also take it and you can write your greeting on the inside. You could also take, because this, this packet comes with the white embossing powder, stamp your greeting in, emboss it in white, and then use the chalk marker to sign your name. So this card is almost finished. It's a super fast card. So I'm just gonna take my stamp and seal. So if you're looking for a, an easy Christmas card, this would be super easy. And remember, you can cut more than one piece of these things out. Ask me how I know, because when you have to cut a lot of these for classes, you quickly experiment to see how many um, sheets of paper you can run through on a die. And I would say with this rectangle and this paper, you could get at least three, maybe even four. I would do three because the more you do, then sometimes the stitching sticks on itself. I got that. And then I have some of our Black Gingham ribbon. ribbon. This is part of the Halloween suite, and this piece is just left from the end of a, I try it class when I had ends of spools. Put that there again makes it super easy to line this up because it's straight so you just follow that line there i'm not going to tie this because i'm keeping it masculine if you i know when my father-in-law was alive sometimes with the christmas cards that you send if you have somebody who's not a family just a single male individual sometimes you like to have Something that can be a little bit more on the masculine side. Or this also would make a great birthday card. So now we've got this and I'm going to take my dimensionals. But I think the gingham ribbon is perfectly fine for a guy's card without the bow. So I've just left the bow off. If you're doing them and you want to make them a little bit more blingy, by all means, tie a bow. Add some Wink of Stella to make it shiny. Um because you can fancy it up a little bit more. I'm keeping mine kind of simple. Just put this back where it, in the center. And then we'll just take our little trees. I'll put this one over here. You can use um, dimensionals if you want. It doesn't press that down so much that it bothered me. straight right here. I don't think anybody would notice. It's just going to bother me. So I'm just going to loop that out. Isn't that fun? And then just one more, one last little touch. I can't talk today. 
Some days, you know, it's easier than others. We were on vacation last week, so I haven't talked to myself on video for a minute. Get all that stuck back on there. I didn't put very much adhesive. Um, I'm going to take, these are also the black gingham is from our Halloween suite. I have a bunch of fall stuff coming up because it was like, we get this stuff and it's the middle of summer. And then the next thing you know, it's almost the middle of August. And I'm like, now yeah, summer really is going. And now it really is kind of time to start thinking about our fall crafting. But these stars are also from the cute Halloween suite, which you will see me use. Probably next week that video will go up. So how easy is that? And then all those fun, the embossing texture, the chalk texture, the three different textures of the foil and then those shiny stars. Here's my other one. They're all gonna look about the same. Not going to change much of any of them, but there you go. So join me back here later this week. I will have, um, I always try to get three tutorials up a week. Um, that's my goal. I have a VIP, two VIP projects that go up every month. And those are for my customers who purchase from my website. And then I have a ton of online classes or the best thing to do and to get to see it all, all the time is to be a member of my team. So if you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise have a great day. Bye.